So congratulations to the two of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You look lovely. Thank you. Uh, well, the two of you are married, so you received the call from the Nobel Committee uh, together. But rumor has it that you, Professor Banerjee, fell asleep again directly after the call. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, it was. What would I do? It was, she was. We were told that she was supposed to speak for us, so I thought I was in a redundant. I could go to sleep. So which one of you are most <laughs> excited by this award? Let's say I was not going to go back to sleep anyways. <laughs> I was excited. Being excited has very little to do with going back to sleep. I figured there would be lots of phone calls and other things to do during the day, so I might as well sleep. Yeah, yeah. and you were right. And I was right. Yeah. Well, uh, you were awarded this prize <coughs> together with uh, Professor Michael Creamer. And you, Professor Banerjee, has said that uh, Creamer is the visionary and Professor Duflo is the realist. So who are you in this trio? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's an um, there's, um, expression in Hindi, which is kebab mein haddi, which means uh, the bone that sticks into the soft meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're the one that sticks to, sticks them together. Um, maybe, or I, I'm, I'm maybe I'm the. I, 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 I maybe I do a little bit of thinking ahead of what, where things should go. Yeah. Well, uh, Professor Duflo, you are one of only two women to receive this award. What do you think that it means to, to your field and to other young female economists? Well, some of my research is on the, the role of women as role models. I've, I've studied uh, women who become uh, policy makers in India, who become the mayors of their small groups of villages. And what we have found in that research is uh, places where a woman have become uh, policy makers see more women becoming leaders in the future, also see parents more willing to educate their daughters, see the daughters become more ambitious. So I cannot help but hope that this is also going to have a little bit of a role model impact just by the fact that I am a woman and also by the field that all three of us work on, which is these issues of development and that many young women, also people from underrepresented minorities are going to see that economics is dealing with these important social issues that many of us women are particularly concerned about. Yeah. So what advice do you have to young economists that want to go into this field? Like in everything else, love what you do. Just do what, do what you love and love what you do. I think that's, that's advice for life and it's really, almost the only advice I have for young people. Yeah. I well, uh, yes? I would add for someone from Sweden who wants to study poor countries is they should get themselves out there uh, without uh, first-hand experience of what's happening in developing countries. It would be very difficult to even have a sense of what it is you're passionate about. Yeah, so just do it. Just do it. Find some experience, travel the world, work in an NGO, volunteer somewhere. And then you will get, you know, you will soon discover that once you start in this field, you can't really get out of it. Well, uh, I've heard that you two are usually the first on the dance floor and the last to leave it. So will that be the case tonight as well? Probably we'll have to leave because, uh, unfortunately, our children are leaving tomorrow morning for France. And we'll have to somehow manage to get there before they wake up and wake them up and get them dressed and get them off to the airport. So it might be a little hard to stay till the, you know, till the sun rises. Well, you can at least be first on the dance floor. That we will. We'll try. Uh, yeah, good. Well, I'll see you there. Uh, once again, congratulations and have a lovely evening. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.